Okay, after successful connection to the database, let's go to Training Set Editor, Design Your View, and click, uh, double click the Add to Training Set button, and we'll be taken to its click event. Now, we are actually going to uh, type in and write down the code that will, the functions and code that we'll use to um, add our new face label pairs to the database. Okay, let's write our own function, custom function called add face to db, uh, and let's pass the picture box image of the extracted face and the text box string, which has the label of the face to it. So here is how we are going to define our function add face to db. Now in it, the first job we'll do is we will try to open the connection to the database if it is closed. Otherwise, we'll simply just go ahead and um, start converting the image into byte format for storing an MS Access database. And for that, we'll use a convert to DB format function, which is also a custom built function that we'll do after we've done with this function. Okay, so uh, before we go ahead, we'll actually just you know uh, show which to which row we're adding our face slip pair, and then we're just going to insert using the OLEDB insert command into the training set one that is our table name, and given the um, you know column IDs. Uh, exact column IDs in the specific order in which they are in the MSXS database table with values as you can see. For further explanation on how I'm using OLEDB to actually insert uh, the face label pairs or what is the exact syn syntax of this insert command, I would suggest you go and um, for reference to the earlier videos I made on the upon how to use OLEDB to connect to MSXS database file and read write data and everything and insert and all this that I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it all again. And um, there we are. Finally, we're just going to show the message box of how many rows are successfully affected or changed or inserted. And then we are going to go for our catch block, which is simply going to display the error messages, whatever has have been encountered, in case the um, face label pair was not successfully stored to the database. And in the finally block, we're just going to refresh your DB connection in case you want to show whatever um, recent face label pair you just added to the database. For now, we're just going to move on to convert to DB format function that we just used here. Now, as you might remember, I said that an image in the format of that you show in the picture box cannot be saved directly into MSX database file as it is. So when we retrieve an image, we're actually, uh, uh, sorry, when we send an image, we're actually going to convert it to a byte error format. And the uh, different levels of conversions are as follows. First, you have the image that you convert to bitmap format, then you convert it into memory stream, and then finally into the byte array, and then into binary. This binary is actually going to be stored in the um, MSX database table. And so here is the step-by-step -step conversion. Now do read the comments that I'm writing along each line of code because it's really going to help you understand in a lesser time if you don't want to you really go and understand the uh, watch the video tutorials I made earlier on connecting to MSX's database. Right then, now it's time to test our code. So let's just go ahead and debug and browse for an image from the training set and select a random image. And let's just give the extracted face a label. And after giving it a label, we're going to click add to training set button. 
and it, ha it has been successfully added and the message box has been showed as we just coded and it has not appeared yet on the training set viewers so before we can make that happen we're actually going to have to be able to read uh, the records we've added to the faces database and show them on our form and that's what we're going to do next